gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? <laughs> Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? that if you We 
gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. And it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Must be the. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro. To get a good look around. is active and you can restart our gem lamp. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. No. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. 
Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job! Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover.
Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. A Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. a key when you know how to chant like this. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies.
Hey, look what I can do. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. this. Would you like to try a game of one-on-one? -on -one? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go.
Well done. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. You can keep practicing. Goodness, you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good.
done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great! Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The Professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. Game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually control the camera. If you'd like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Okay, all done. If you don't like the camera this way, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu.
I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Nice work, Spyro! The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest Talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. <laughs> 